Hey everyone, welcome back to Queen D Fitness. Today I'm going to be reviewing. Do, 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 do. You guys probably don't know what's inside of here, um, but I'm going to be reviewing Nectar Juice Bar. I recently did a cleanse through them, and no, this is not sponsored. I just wanted to try a cleanse because I never really did a juice cleanse where I just drink juices all day and that's it. No foods, no nothing but the juices and well and water. Um, so I thought that I would do a review because I did post it on my Insta story a few times and throughout the day when I did do the cleanse and I got a lot of questions so I figured I would just do a video on it. But before I get started, I would like to say hello if you're new. My name is Dee. Um, I do a bunch of fitness related videos on this channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you're excited and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time I put out a new video. So. Now that that's out the way, let's get started. I decided to do the cleanse and Nectar does a one day cleanse, two day and three day. Since I was new to cleansing, I decided to do it for just one day. There's two different ones that you can do. There's like a beginner and an advanced one. And I was looking at the differences and it seems that the beginner one has more fruits in it whereas the advanced has like more veggies it's more of like a bitter taste or it can be so i was familiar with you know green juices and drinking green juices a lot so i went ahead and chose the advanced option because i know that i could handle it so it comes in this bag like this and it has six bottles in here uh, and let me show you guys what's inside so there are six bottles and that's all that I will be eating today, well, drinking. Let's start with number one, it's the Healing Greens, a healing blend with prebiotics to promote a healthy gut. All right, so what's in here? Prebiotics, spinach, lemon, parsley, and ginger. And these are the nutrition facts. I saw apple and cucumber right here. Um, so that's everything that's in this one. And so, yeah, you guys, I'll do an after review after I'm done. So the first one is called Healing Green. Two is turmeric, citrus, gate fruit, turmeric, lemon, and black pepper, um, orange, and camu camu. For three, the pomegranate beet comes with beet, lemon, apple, spinach, pomegranate, parsley, celery, and ginger. So far, um, I feel like, I don't know. I don't honestly, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Actually, I knew it would be tough for me just cause I love food. Like not liquid food, I like food. <laughs> like my chicken, my potatoes, you know, <laughs> all that stuff. And so um, right now I feel really hungry and I've only, drank two bottles and this one I just started and I see like it's taking me a really long time to drink each one like I'm supposed to have my my first one was supposed to be at 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, and 6 and I feel like as soon as I finish one juice like 15 minutes later I have to drink another one so I'm a really slow drinker <laughs> um so this has been like super tough for me and I'm definitely going to the bathroom a lot, TMI, but hey, like this is, I guess, all a part of this juice cleanse. And, um, but yeah, like no really extravagant complaints other than I'm just starting to feel it. Like I'm, I'm pretty hungry right now. Um, but the juices aren't that bad. I do have to say that the second one, um, which I'll show you guys after all, all of them are done, but the second one was probably my favorite so far, and the first one wasn't too bad. This one, I'm having a hard time drinking. I don't really care for, um, my husband said it's probably the beet that I don't like, but yeah, I, I'm having a hard time drinking this one. My palate is very sensitive, and yeah, this one I'm not too fond about, but I'm gonna finish it. For the charcoal, um, it's skinny lemonade. 
It has lemon and probiotics, activated charcoal and agave nectar. Honestly, this one was probably the toughest for me to drink, which is really strange. I thought that I would like it because it, you know, was like lemonade. But something about the taste was like really, really tart and just, I don't know, I really had a hard time finishing this one. Okay, you guys, and here's number four. It's the Skinny Lemonade. As you can see, I am struggling with finishing this one. I think actually this one's the nastiest, in my opinion. It has lemon, probiotics, activated charcoal, and agave nectar. I really don't care for this. It's like... It tastes like medicine to me, but it's like really sweet. You would think I like it because it's really like, I don't know, it's like a juicy juice, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, it's a no for me, but I'll still finish it. And number five, it's Lean Greens, Cucumber Green Apple, Swiss Chard or Card, I don't know, Spinach, Kale, Parsley, Lemon, and Celery. There's the nutrition facts. And number six is a superfood protein. I cheated, y'all. I kind of like just, I opened this one and took a sip already just because I really wanted to see if I was going to like this. And this one probably is like my favorite out of all six. And so this one will be the one I eat last or drink last. It has almond dates, nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla, and filtered water. And this is the calories and nutrition facts. It's almost like it's really like a thick, chunky smoothie. It, it, tastes like, but it has almonds, dates, nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla, and filtered water. It was actually really good. In there, it comes with those six bottles, and it also comes with a packet of basically um, cleanse instructions before, during, and after, and it also gives you a recommended schedule. So I followed the schedule that they recommended. So at 8 a.m., I had bottle number one, and then every two hours on until 6 p.m. is when you would have your last bottle, number six. I must say that I felt overall pretty good. Um, I was more hungry in the beginning and then I was becoming more full towards the end of the night. And I actually am so surprised that I wasn't really hungry or craving for food. I was actually felt really, really full at the end of the day. And I was a little concerned because after I think the first or second bottle, I was like really craving food or I just didn't feel like it was enough. Um, but it ended up being like, I felt totally fine. Um, my energy level though, I did go to the gym that day and I must say that it was pretty low. I, like I didn't, I don't know, like I wasn't really as strong. So I definitely recommend that if you do decide to do a juice cleanse, that you do it on either a rest day or a really, really light day. I wouldn't expect to do too much in the gym. Um, I don't know how it is for others. I haven't really watched any other juice cleanse reviews, but I know for me, I was very low energy throughout the day. On a scale of one to 10, I would give it a three or four as to how hard it was to get through the day and like not feeling hungry. I give it a like three or four because I really felt fine and felt sufficient. I would have given it like a higher number if I was just constantly hungry and just couldn't do it. Let's just start with the pros. So the pros are, I am so busy. So this was actually really convenient for me. I didn't have to really think of anything to cook for myself for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, snack, whatever. I just had my meals, it was just already there. It's kind of like meal planning, right? Except you're just drinking the liquids they tell you to drink. Um, another pro is that I lost, I got on the scale um, in the morning before I started my cleanse and I was 104. And then when I woke up the next morning, I weighed myself and I was 100 pounds. I was really shocked that I lost four pounds in one day. I thought it would be maybe like two pounds, but then when I saw four, I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't see how people would do it for three days. But me, I, I don't think I would do it for more than, I think I would probably try two days, one maybe later on down the line. But I didn't really do this for weight loss. If anything, I like to keep my weight on. I like to keep my muscle and everything. So I really just did it just because I was recently sick and I just wanted to just have a fresh start. And so I thought it would be 
a good way for me to kind of cleanse while I was sick because I really didn't have an appetite anyways and just like in between you know you have those phases where you go really hard in the gym and then you take it easy some uh, I mean you still go but you're just kind of just going through the motions and then you're ready to go hard again and you go hard well I was like right towards the end of okay I need to start getting back to my regular gym routine and be a lot more strict. And so I thought that it, this would be a great way to start that. I got a lot of people on my Insta story like, oh, like, where can you get these juices? And again, I did mine at Nectar Juice Bar. Um, I know also Pressed Juicery also does uh, juice cleanses. I just know Nectar Juice Bar is what was uh, closer for me and like around my area. There's so many Nectar Juice Bars all around Arizona, so that's where I went. But I know Press Juicery also has some juice cleanses and you can always just type on Google like juice cleanse near me and I'm sure a juice store will pop up. I think any store that has, that sells green juice, you could, they probably have like a juice package. Another question I got is, how do you know this cleanse is good for you? Well, I did my research. I kind of just looked up again. Like I said, there were two cleanses that I could choose from, or you could make your own and just order juices on your own. However, I just looked at the beginner and I looked at the advanced and I saw all of the ingredients and that's how I chose. I'm not doing this video to say all of you guys do a juice cleanse. I think you should, you know, of course, make sure you're healthy. And if you have like any concerns about doing one, you should totally not ignore your concerns and maybe talk to your primary care physician um, to see if you can do a cleanse because you definitely want to make sure you're healthy. I mean, me, myself, I do routine um, physicals and checkups, especially since I am so active in the gym. And so it's really important for me to go to my doctor regularly to make sure that I'm healthy and I'm fine and everything's good because the gym is my passion and I, I just love going. So now I'm gonna go with my cons where there's not really too many cons, um, but one of them is low energy. I did, again, like I said earlier, feel like I was a little bit lower energy than usual. I probably could have gone harder in the gym, but it was really, I didn't really want to test those waters. I kind of just planned around my workout schedule and I was like, okay, this day I know is a light day for me. So this is the day that I'm going to do my cleanse. Cause again, I did research and they recommend that you don't do anything like strenuous while doing a cleanse. So that's what I did. I didn't want to like go extreme, like, you know, lift super heavy weight that day. I'm sure maybe I probably could have done a lot heavier than I did, but I didn't want to test that. There was really no reason to. I planned accordingly and, you know, just had a light day at the gym and I was totally fine. I definitely do it on a day where you're, you don't have much going on. Another con is if you're not trying to lose weight, this will definitely have you drop a few pounds. Um, I mean, I don't think one day will kill you though, uh, because after, I believe like maybe the next day, like the weight just went right back up. So at least for me, um, but I eat a lot of food. So I, I eat close to 3000 calories a day and that is a lot. And that's because I work out a lot. I do cardio, I strength train. And when I weight train and my cardio, it's really, really intense. So I have to eat a lot or else I will lose a lot of weight and I don't want to lose a lot of weight. So. Um, yeah, definitely if you don't really care, want to lose weight and you want to put on pounds, I mean, and you're healthy and you eat clean already, then I don't know. Juicing, I, I feel like honestly I did it just to switch things up and just to say that I've done one before because I, I never have done one. And I've actually, after I did it once, I waited about like a month and I did it one more time. And it's crazy because the second time I feel like was harder for me than the first time like the second time I remember I had like I had like this massive headache and I'm not sure if it was from the juice cleanse because it was the same exact one but the second time I did do the one day of cleansing I just had this massive headache it wouldn't go away and it was really really hard for me to concentrate throughout that day um but Overall, I'm, I'm thinking it wasn't that because I didn't have that same reaction at all the first day. So, who knows? Honestly, I really like the, the Nectar Cleanse. It, they made it really, really easy for me, um, especially since I this was my first time. Inside, it tells you everything. Like, it says, you know, choose your cleanse. 
Oh, I'm sorry. The first one wasn't the beginner cleanse. It's the classic cleanse and then the advanced cleanse. Um, and then it says, choose your length. Day one, a quick reset for your system. A two day cleanse packs a one, two punch to reset and renew. A three day cleanse, the complete cleanse for revitalizing your body. And a five day cleanse, which I will never do, <laughs> is the ultimate juice cleanse, reset, renew, revitalize, and glow. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for those of you wondering about juice cleanses and how they work or if you guys were interested in one and not interested in one or whatever it is i hope that i answered your questions um if you have any more questions feel free to leave them down below leave me feedback down below again make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video